Jesus, God, cure God, say body parallels for me. Yeah, sum of branch, that's what you call branches, branch currents equal my total or total current. That's it in a nutshell. But you could still say, hey, the algebraic sum of currents entering and leaving the node and total current equals zero. That's the same thing. Hey, each branch current adds up to the I total. IR1 plus IR2 plus IR3. These should add because we know what's additive in parallel. Common current. So these must combine equal total current. That's basically what Kurt was saying. What do I have drawn at the bottom of each branch? What do you think it looks like? Something like that. Yeah, they're going to represent, let me draw a little bit, a little bit better like. Yeah, they're switches. Now, what is a switch? It's a component or device that basically controls, yeah, current a circuit or connects circuits together, things like that. So right now, all the switches are closed. So therefore, I must have maximum current through each branch, right? Yes, don't get screwed up by that. If you happen to see a circuit that has switches in it, don't freak out. Because if they're all closed, don't I have maximum current in each branch? Yes, don't like freak out about that kind of stuff. But if I open one of these switches, what's going on in R2, that branch? There's no current. That's like taking a branch away. If I take a branch away, what does that do to circuit current? Yeah, it decreases, because I'm taking a path for current away. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so keep those things in mind. And that's basically what this is I'm going to talk about it again. It's down here. So don't freak out if you see switches. If they're all closed, hey, just treat it as a normal circuit. If a switch is open, well, that particular component is not part of the circuit anymore, is it? If I open R3 switch, the circuit still works, except it's without R3. Because there's still a path for current that R1, that R2. R3, no. So that path that I took away, I still have the same potential, but because I have this resistors in parallel, if I keep adding more resistors in parallel, what happens to the total resistance or the equivalent resistance? That keeps decreasing slightly, 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 because of this, look, REQ is smaller than the smallest when we're dealing with parallel. That's always going to be true. Why? Because we're reciprocating. Whenever we keep reciprocating, the number's going to keep getting smaller, smaller, smaller. That's why it's smaller than the smallest. So if I keep continuing to add branches, I have less opposition. Therefore, what? More current. So that should make sense. And we'll think about, hey, more paths I add per current, it's going to increase. And if you don't believe it, or just make a no good circuit and add or take away branches, recalculate, you'll see that I'm not full of. Happens.